There's the Decimus. Oh, uh, let's see if we can boost their Give them a little help, I guess, maybe, huh? Eighteen seconds before I can help them. Hazard emitters. I don't know if targets friend and self. Reinforce structural integrity. There we go. That gives them some healing right there. Okay. We need your help. Thank you for your assistance, Bearcat. We're continuing emergency repairs, but most of our major systems are offline. The Tal Shiar sent detachments to the surface, and our colony is not responding to hail. With our transporters down and shuttle bay damaged, I cannot send a security team to investigate. Tal Shiar have never been so bold. They plan to destroy your colony. How can you be so certain? It doesn't make sense. They've left us alone for years. What would they gain by destroying our home? We keep to ourselves and we do not challenge the Tal Shiar. With all due respect, we've seen this before. The Tal Shiar destroyed our colony on Viranat without warning. If we don't get your people off Crateris immediately, they'll be defenseless when the invasion force arrives. Tobin is telling the truth. Invasion force? We aren't in any position to begin an evacuation. The head of our fleet, Obelisk, and most of our ships are on maneuvers out of the system. They can't possibly return in time. Until we reestablish communication with the colony, our priority must be to protect the people on the surface. Find Zaden. He will help you. He resides near the communication tower on the outskirts of the colony. If we reestablish communication, then we can formulate a plan. We'll find Zidane. Okay. Oh, that one damage too. That one is. Looks like we managed to save all the warbirds. This bird must have a lot of hit points. Because look, that healing shot right there put him back up to half health. He's, we hit him twice and he's just n nearing half health. we we'll hit him with one more, maybe, huh? We'll hit them both with one more. It's only 20 seconds each. But if we get hit by another more ships, I'm pretty sure we will. Be nice to have those guys up on health. You healed 5,000 damage on ships. Accolade complete. Entrenched engineer. Or whatever. How's his health? His health is good too. Oh, look. All the arcing and sparking is gone. Nice. 
Oh, uh, yeah. That's probably our next ship right there, the Light Warbird. Ivaro, we're in a Talese right now. Three seconds. Yeah. Watch his health climb back up almost to full. And we'll boost him again. Yeah, see, look at that. Oh, we'll give him a shot. That should top him off. And then we'll boost him one or two more times. Is if a, a, a another Tal Shiar comes in, maybe a, a battleship or cruiser, a heavy cruiser or something. These guys will be able to contribute to the fight instead of just blowing up or getting knocked out of commission. Thirty seconds. I'm not hosting anyone, am I? Just make sure I'm not. That could have been part of my problem. Might have been hosting somebody. I haven't seen anyone come in for a couple hours. Or Ankbot is messing up on me. I'm typing into chat. There we go. Something just finally popped up in chat. Anyway. Ah, right. We're going to boost. Do some repairs on that boat. The Decimus. I'm thirsty. Anybody else thirsty? Let's get a quick drink. This is resetting. When this resets, I'll hit him with one more heal and then go for go for uh, something to drink. Get something to drink. Now the other thing you can do is you can set your phasers or your plasma beam weapons auto and hold back on your torpedo however there's no real reason to hold back on firing your torpedoes because torpedoes do not use energy they have their their own energy to launch right because they're a torpedo right self-contained energy and then they do their damage by exploding, not by continual beam energy. These are beam energies. Every time you fire one, using up energy. All right, get a drink, and I'll be right back.
Alright, I am back. Excuse me a moment. There we go. Now to get resettled. I think I'm going to shift positions here into a reclining position. Go, ba dum ba dum, da dum da dum. Ah, my mouse pad is under the computer. Let this be a moment. All right, so let's hit that again. This here, put that there. Da -da -da, da -da -da. It's getting a little warm in here, so we'll crack open our window. Uh, beg your pardon for all the noise I'm making. All right, and I got something in my eye. Fantastico. Put that there, cover the feet, and get the junk out of my eyes. Uh. I had an interesting day today. Ah, <sighs> now I'm playing an interesting game. All right, wireless mouse, wireless keyboard, working from my laptop. 